Her family is thankful to have escaped the flames, but are mourning the loss of a home with so many memories. Our Abby Loring joins us now with more. Friday, October 2nd, 2020 will be a day the Williams family will never forget. Now, as they look at the pieces of what's left of their family home, they're all just thankful they still have each other. Before dawn, last Friday, Cariante Brazil and her six family members were suddenly woken up by her toddler nephew. We thought he just needed his bottle because usually he wants the, his bottle in the middle of the night. But she said he kept constantly waking up. So once my sister woke up, she was like, you know, she was in shock. So she was just like, yo, the house is on fire. See, a big plume of black smoke. And I'm looking, I know, what's, I know what's happening already. I know what's happening. But I'm watching the smoke and I come around and when I get a little closer, I can see the fire, the orange, just licking up through the smoke. The only thing I was worried about was my family. The fire spread quickly, strongest at the front of the house. All the windows were armed with burglar bars, all except one, the window in the very back on the second floor. We was able to get to the back of the house, and once we broke the window, immediately within 10 seconds, it got smoky and black. And me, my sister immediately had to jump in order so we could throw the kids at the window so she can catch the kids. We all just at a rapid pace start jumping. All seven family members were able to get out safely. Viola Williams, the 73 year old grandmother and homeowner was the last one out and rushed to the hospital because she really needs us at this moment. So we, we can't be broken down too much in front of her because she she lost everything. When I see her in such pain and know that there's nothing I can do. But just be there for her, for her to know that she has lost all 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 that she had. The family holds each other just a little bit tighter today and every day as they know to never take a single moment for granted. Grandma V is in surgery today, but she no longer has a place to come home to. The Williams family is asking for the community's help to rebuild. For now in Temple, I'm Abby Loring, 25 News. Abby, thank you. Now the family does have a GoFundMe page if you'd like to donate. They have raised nearly $700 so far. There is a lot to look